Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. Well, I guess, uh, welcome to another video. And today we're gonna be talking about drivers. Yes, it's a sore subject, but we, somebody needs to talk, to talk about it. Uh, disclaimer first, you need to set expectations, the right expectations. When it comes to Linux, don't expect all your hardware to be compatible. If you, uh, you've been a Windows user for forever, and then one day decide uh, to switch to Linux on your $2,000 gaming rig, yeah, you shouldn't expect all the hardware to work on Linux. Now, that being said, some distributions support more hardware than others. But luckily, we're on Arch. And what do we have on Arch? We got the AUR, of course. So let's say a manufacturer uh, created a driver for Ubuntu, a Debian-based system, and they got their own PPAs. But we got Arch. And most of the time, those drivers are going to be converted to work on Arch, thanks to the AUR. So, but don't set your expectations too high because sometimes, like if you had a, a Go XLR, for example, you might not find drivers or utilities for that. That's one of the things that people are having a hard time with. Or you're a gamer and you like your RGB for whatever reason. Uh, you want to control your RGB. That's another area where it, it, it's a touch and go. You might find, thanks to, there's an application on the AUR called OpenRGB that will allow you to control your RGB, but not for all devices. Like, for example, I got an Asus uh, ROG RGB keyboard, not supported. Hasn't been f since the creation of that app. I'm still waiting. Uh, you want to, you have, uh, for example, external audio DACs and stuff like that. Not all of them are supported anywhere. Not yet. But we can hope. Linux is such a big world and there's so many developers. At some point, someone might develop a driver for uh, for your hardware if it's not uh, done by the manufacturers themselves. Other than that, I don't know if there's anything to say uh, before we get to how to do things on Arch. Yeah, that's about it. We're going to be using today. We're gonna. Uh, I'm gonna introduce you to a valuable tool when it comes to drivers. Super valuable tool. And it uh, this tool is called Inxi. I N X I. This tool will uh, allows you to know what devices are connected to your computer. And thanks to that application or CLI applications, you'll be able to uh, find the drivers for your hardware. All right, without further ado, let's go to the desktop. All right, now that we're on our desktop, you see this is, uh, in the terminal, we're gonna be using INXI. But we don't just type it like this. If you type it like this, you're gonna have a bunch of, inform uh, bunch of information. It's too long and very hard to decipher. To get all the uh, information, you just type man INXI. This, these are the man pages for INXI. You type it and you start reading. And read, read, read the various, the various flags and so on and so forth for GPUs, for Wi-Fi. All right, so we quit out of here. For example, in this example, we're going to use the graphics. So we type INXI dash G, enter. This will tell us what graphic cards are connected and what driver is loaded. And we see that loaded is mode setting. What does mode setting mean? Mode setting means no driver is loaded. So if whenever, like for example, if you own an NVIDIA driver, install, uh, let's say, Zero Linux or Arco Linux or Manjaro, whatever, and after running uh, INXI-G, you get loaded mode setting. That means no driver is loaded. You need to install the driver. And here it tells you what GPU you have. Since we are in a VM, it tells us Vertio GPU. All right, let's say, for example, you have an NVIDIA GPU. If you are using Zero Linux, for example, all you have to do is use our tool. But let's say you have uh, 
a Wi-Fi. If you want to check what Wi-Fi, the most common drivers that you cannot find on distros are Wi-Fi drivers. Those are a headache. You just type INX I dash capital N lowercase a. That will tell you what network adapters are connected. Oops, I misspelled it if I know how to type. All right. So here it tells us device Red Hat Vertio network. For example, let's say it said Realtek. You want to go find the driver for Realtek. You just type AUR dot archlinux.org. You go here in the search box, let's say RTL, let's say your GPU, your uh, Wi Fi adapter is this one. You see it? So this is your Wi Fi adapter driver. You just copy it, type yay dash S, control shift V to paste, and you hit enter. And here you should expect to wait sometimes a long time. Why? Because when you're installing from the AUR, you're actually building the driver and then installing. So there will be some time for building. It depends on the speed of your computer. It depends on the speed of your internet because sometimes uh, the driver has to clone entire repository and then start building and then install. You enter your password and now it's installing the driver. I cannot include all the drivers available on the AUR on the ISO unless you want to download 300 gigs worth of ISO or I cannot put them on my repositories because there's too many. There's too, just too many drivers. So that's it. Your driver has been installed. Now that comes with a caveat. Be careful. Don't just install willy nilly a driver and expect it to work. You still have to go to the driver GitHub which is linked on the AUR. You scroll down and you start reading. And I keep saying this, but I cannot emphasize this enough. You need to read. Without reading, how are you gonna get the information? I'm just making those videos, but you still have to read. I don't have all the answers in my pocket. Nobody does. Think about it this way. Linux is a community-based, mostly a community-based uh, operating system or base or whatever you wanna call it. People help each other out. You can seek help get help, help other people if you have the knowledge. It's all community based. So see, for example, here it says disable CD-ROM mode and select Wi-Fi mode, not for Ubuntu. Known issues, very slow upload speed, problem reconnect to K network manager in Kubuntu. See, it tells you all the information you need on the GitHub, something you're not gonna get on the AUR. And if you just install the driver, uh, without knowing anything about it, how it works, if it works. Sometimes it works right out of the box. But if it doesn't, don't go asking around anyone to help you. Before you do that, you, you just go to the GitHub and you read all the information about said driver. I just wanted to make this quick video explaining how you install drivers. So don't keep on requesting people to add drivers left and right to, to their distributions. I might include a few on my repository at some point. I don't right now, but at some point I might include a few known ones, but I'm not gonna be including all of them. It's impossible. They're too big, too many. So just do as I just showed you. Use Inksy. Everything is here. Everything is in this little tool called INXI. Use it. Keep on using it. And I want to say one last thing before we end this video. If you don't know what chipset your Wi-Fi adap uh, wi adapter is using, just look at the name, model number on Google. TP-Link, for, for example, they use Realtek uh, chipsets. You Google, use Google and use INXI. Those two tools are your way to, to, to freedom, to, to Linux. You need to know your hardware before installing Linux. And you need to know how to do your research. With that being said, that's all there is to it. I just wanted to, to, to make a quick video showing you how to get your drivers and what tool to use to know your drivers. 
GPU drivers are easy to install. They're either on the repositories of the distro or included on the ISO. Some people, uh, some maintainers include them on the ISO. I don't, but there's always tools in all distros to install GPU drivers. That's 100% done deal. So yeah, I just wanted to, to let you all know that drivers do exist. Treat it like Windows. I know I'm gonna, I might get hate for saying that, but treat Linux like Windows when it comes to hardware drivers. If your driver is not supported out of the box, you'll have to install it, just like Windows. You install Windows, then you install the drivers. Same thing with Linux, that's no different. So yeah, with that being said, let me know in the comments below, what do you thought of this uh, kind of videos? Do you like it? You don't? Or how do you get your drivers? Do you trust the AUR? You don't trust the AUR? All that, let's start the discussion in the, in the comments below. All right. Well, my job is done in this one. Catch you on the flip side. This is Dark Zero signing off.